सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू सेशन सो इन अवर प्रीवियस सेशन और द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मेश एनालिसिस एंड वी हैव सॉल्व टू प्रॉब्लम टू डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स वेर इन वन प्रॉब्लम वी हैव कंसिडर्ड टू लूप करेंट्स इन सेकेंड प्रॉब्लम वी हैव कंसिडर्ड थ्री लूप करेंट्स बट द स्ट्रक्चर वॉज द यू नो इट इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन सो इट इट वॉज इजियर टू सॉल्व so here in this case we have one kind of some complex network not complex but easy but some twisted but it's very easy if you listen to it you would understand so this is the problem here so here the question here is so though again those who have not seen that video please watch that video and uh, some of the other those who are having backlogs some of the other concepts or the subjects for fourth sem related to electromagnetic theory control system Uh, yeah, if you are searching for that, it is available in our description of this video, or it is available in our channel playlist. You can check it out. All the concepts, videos related to network analysis, electromagnetic theory, control system, it is available in our channel. Please do check it out. And also, those who have not watched the previous videos, you can watch it. It is available in our playlist. Do watch it. Then come and watch this video. So now this is, we are continuing with the problem. Third problem that is find current through. and voltage across each resistors using loop current method or mesh analysis okay this is one more name loop current method okay so here they have asked us to find the current and voltage current through and voltage across each resistor so in this circuit we have four resistors so we should be finding the current through one ohm resistor and voltage across one ohm similarly for this one ohm four ohm and four ohm okay but the first step remains the same apply kvl and solve for three loop currents okay first step remains the same no change at all okay so now let's solve but here you can see that in the first step only we got the first current loop i1 we don't need to find the value of i1 only because if you observe carefully in this loop i1 we have already one current source kept here that is the value is 2 ampere but if we have an already an current source it is a common sense that in this full loop that current would be traveling right so we can directly write as i1 is equal to 2 ampere okay don't get confused use your common sense whenever they give a current source in any loop don't keep try to write the loop equation solve for this loop because there is already a current source you can directly write it as 2 ampere okay so we have solved for i1 we have left with only two loops now Con don't consider this loop only consider i2 and i3 and apply kvl and solve for these two loops Con get these two currents i2 and i3 then solve for each resistor current and voltage okay so here we got i1 So now consider loop I two now consider loop two or loop I two I'll write loop I two for this now apply KVL so this is the direction here I've considered okay starts from this resistor plus minus this is the outward sign so minus one and the loop current here is I two then we have from here this resistor this is plus and this is minus outward sign so minus four. Into this four ohm resistor is between I two and I three, right? But we are considering I two, so I two minus I three, and if we travel here, this is the third resistor minus sign outward sign minus one into this one ohm is between I two and I one, right? That is equal to I two minus I one, but we know the value of I one already. That is two. So substitute I two minus two equal to zero. Now nothing solve minus I two minus four I two minus minus plus four I three minus I two minus minus plus so plus two equal to zero, right? So what we'll be getting I two I two and four I two. My all are minus so minus six I two plus four I three. Is equal to bring this two to another side. That would be minus two. So this is our first equation. Name it as equation one. Okay, we have done loop I two. Similarly, solve for loop I three. That is start from here. The outward uh, sign is plus eight. Since this is a voltage source, I have kept it as it is plus eight. Okay. Then next is four ohm here. This is plus and this is minus. So minus four into loop current I three minus this loop. This, since this four ohm is between I three and I two, so I three minus I two 
then we have minus 4 i3 equal to 0. So 8 minus 4 i3 minus minus plus 4 i2 minus 4 i3 equal to 0. So that is 4 i2 minus 4 minus 4 minus 8 i3 equal to plus 8. If you bring it to other side, it would be minus 8. So this is our second equation. So now solve these two equations, put in the calculator. Okay, since we have only two equations, we should be finding two currents I2 and I3 in this case. So that's why mode equation and press 1 because we are considering only two currents here. Press 1. So this is the matrix. First value is coefficient of I2. Next value is coefficient of I3. Next value is the constant. Okay. So now this is first value is minus 6. 4 minus 2. Next is 4 minus 8 minus 8. Press equal to x is first value is 1.5 the value of current i2 is equal to 1.5 ampere and i3 is equal to 1.75 ampere. So here we have got all the three currents now i1, i2 and i3 and, the, and in the question they have asked find the current through and voltage across each resistance right. So now let's consider first we have four resistances. So first resistance here, let's consider this resistance here, upward this up resistance 1 ohm. So that is current through 1 ohm, I of 1 ohm is equal to. Since this uh, 1 ohm is in this loop I2 here. Since this 1 ohm, we know that this 1 ohm resistor is in the is in this loop I2. So that's why the current through this loop I2 one uh, or current through 1 ohm is the same. So that's why whatever the value of I2 we have got that only is the current through 1 ohm that is 1.5 ampere. So now voltage across 1 ohm that is V is equal to I into R that is I value we have got here 1.5 into resistor is already given that is 1 ohm. So that's why voltage is equal to again 1.5 volt. So the first answer is 1.5 amps and 1.5 volt. So the second resistor here, let's consider this downward 1 ohm now. Okay, that is I of 1 ohm. But this 1 ohm here is between these two loops. That is I2 minus I1 because I2 minus I1. No, 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 it's not I2 minus I1, it is I1 minus I2 because I1 has the greater current, not I2. So that's why since 1 ohm is between I1 and I2 loops, so but the greater current is I1, so I1 minus I2 that is equal to 2 minus 1.5 that is 0.5 ampere. Similarly, voltage across this 1 ohm is uh, current is 0.5 and resistor value is 1, amp, 1 ohms, so our voltage is also. 0.5 volts. So this is the second resistor value. So now we have third resistor that is let's consider this 4 ohm now. So now this 4 ohm is between the loop currents I2 and I3. Okay. So that's why I of 4 ohm is equal to but the greater value is in between I2 and I3 this is the greater value 1.75. So that is we should be writing I3 minus I2 that is 1.75 minus 1.5 that is equal to 0.25 ampere okay similarly voltage across this 4 ohm 0.25 we have got your current into the 4 ohm resistor that is equal to 1 volt okay similarly fourth resistance that is this 4 ohm we know that this 4 ohm is in loop i3 so that's why current across this 4 ohm is equal to i3 whatever we have got that is 1.75 ampere Voltage across this 4 ohm is 1.75 into 4 that is equal to 6 volt. Okay. So like this we have got all these 4 values. Hope this is clear. Okay. Like this we have solved for all the resistances. Current and voltage all of them we have solved using mesh analysis. So like this you should be solving. Pause the video and refer it. Those are not understand. So this is one problem. Let's get to one more problem and wind this session. So this is the next question here that is find the voltage across the terminal A and B in the network shown below. So here we have terminal A and B you should be finding the voltage across this terminal okay the voltage that is V of AB. 
so here before proceeding what you should be doing is voltage across this that is you should be considering first write the equation of v of a b that is you can see that here we, between this a and b we have one resistance and one voltage source okay apply kvl condition only using this outward loop okay that is here we have 54 but the outward sign is plus so plus 54 and here we have minus 9 and this is the loop current i2 in this uh, for 9 ohm so that is 54 minus 9 i2 like this you have written one equation first for v of a b so this equation keep it as it is now solve for all the rest of the loop currents in order to get the value of i2 so whatever after solving the loop currents whatever value of i2 we get right that you should be substituting then find the final voltage of v of a b and end this session okay so this is clear now nothing much to do like the direct uh, whatever we have done apply a node or node mesh analysis and solve for different loops we have here three loops i1 i2 i3 you can name the loops in any way i have named it as i1 i2 i3 you can name it as i1 i2 i3 any way you can name the loops okay no issue with that so now let's uh, one by one solve for all the loops first is loop one that is loop i1 this loop okay start from here the outward sign is minus so minus 12 since this is a voltage source then we have 3 minus sign minus 3 and the loop current is i1 then we have this resistance value is 6 ohm okay 6 ohm and this is 30 ohm okay so this is 6 ohm now the outward sign is minus 6 it, this is between i1 and i3 but we are considering loop i1 so i1 minus i3 then we have minus 15 this is loop i1 and this is between i1 and i2 so i1 minus i2 then we have finally minus 30 equal to 0 okay like this you should be doing now solve minus 6 i1 plus 6 i3 minus 15 i1 plus 15 i2 minus 30 equal to 0 group all the i1 terms first minus 3 minus 6 minus 15 that is 15 minus 6 15 plus 6 21 plus 3 24 minus 24 i1 then group all the i2 terms we have only one i2 term that is plus 15 i2 and all the i3 terms we have only one i3 term that is plus 6 i3 that is equal to bring this uh, here we have minus 30 minus 12 that is minus 42 if it comes goes to other side it would be plus 42 okay so this is the first equation name it as equation 1 now solve for loop loop i2 that is second loop start from here outward sign is plus 30 here then this is minus 15 into i2 and i1 i2 minus i1 then we have minus 30 i2 and this is i3 so i2 minus i3 then we have minus 9 i2 then we have plus 54 equal to 0 solve this again 30 minus 15 i2 plus 15 i1 minus 30 i2 plus 30 i3 minus 9 i2 plus 54 equal to 0 again group all the i1 terms we have only one i1 term that is 15 i1 i2 terms we have this this and this so that is minus 15 minus 30 minus 9 that is 30 plus 9 39 plus 15 54 okay that is minus 54 i2 then we have i3 terms that is we have only one i3 term plus 30 i3 is equal to 54 plus 30 is 84 if it goes to other side it will be minus 84 so that is equal to minus 84 then name it as equation 2 now similarly solve for third loop i3 so here we have this is the direction here start from this voltage source the outward sign here is minus 20 then we have minus 30 into i3 minus i2 then we have minus 6 into i3 minus i1 is equal to 0 so minus 20 minus 30 i3 plus 30 i2 minus 6 i3 plus 6 i1 equal to 0 so we have only one 6 i1 i1 term 
then we have 30 i2 that is one single term plus 30 i2 then we have minus 30 minus 6 that is minus 36 i3 equal to minus 20 bring it to other side it will be plus 20 so this is our third equation okay like this we have solved three these three equations now our goal is to find the values of i1 i2 i3 and substitute the value of i2 in this equation that is 54 minus 9 i2 whatever we have written okay yeah so now let's find the values of i1 i2 i3 so here now mode setup equation press number 2 because we are having 3 currents so this matrix would be coming fill the values first coefficient is i1 here we have minus 24 then is then 15 6 42 next is 15 minus 54 30 minus 84 next is 6 30 minus 36 20 so this is the first current that is 0.119 ampere this is the second current 2.404 ampere which only we needed that is i2 next is 1.468 ampere so like this we have got three currents but we needed the current i2 because we need to substitute in this equation that is 2.404 so v of a b if we solve this 54 minus 2.404 into 9 that is 21.636 54 minus 21.636 that is equal to 32.364 volt okay so we have solved this we have find the voltage across the terminals a and b that is 32.364 volt okay so hope this problem is clear please go to this problem once and try to solve it so that's all for this session guys like like this video share this channel to a huge number and uh, watch all our previous videos guys thank you